fine an agency? I mean, what what are the penalties? I can tell you what they are in Florida. If this happened in Fort Lauderdale, I mean, oh heck, we're well, right? on, on the senator's point, the consent order that was agreed to and in force, or, did I hear you correctly in that Valdosta has been following that consent order? Because you said if they weren't, you would have stepped in. Well, I, I mean, under, under the consent order that's currently being negotiated. Right. Oh, I so thought they were the, currently under a consent order. So the first consent, from 2012. So the first consent order, they were in compliance with that consent order. And that mm -hmm. covered, um, my understanding is that covered the three main, what was understood at the time to be issues with causing causes of the sewage spills. Um, the force main rehabilitation, the wastewater treatment plan, and the rehab pump stations. So they, Valdosta has complied with investing in and doing those components that were in that initial order. Um, that's why a new order is needed to really cover the remaining issues of um, that reside with the collection system. So there was a, um, Senator, if you don't mind, mentioned the Appalachian Court of So apparently some agency went into a civil lawsuit against the state of Georgia. Is that what I understood? The Governor the Scott one. It's, been, it's been in the court system since the early 90s. Uh, Governor Scott's administration sued to the direction of the Supreme right. and, and I know that's a lot of our constituents' questions and, and concerns is this being a state issue, at what point or what level do we need to get to where the state of Florida files a lawsuit against the state of Georgia for their, their action that their, or inaction that's carried forward right there or the, another, the city of Valdosta? I'll, I'll comment on that. Just I'm not an attorney, but I grew up 20 miles from that much cold back. And I can tell you that you don't want to get in a 20-year lawsuit. That Even if we win, that can, that can make everything freeze. We, the best case scenario is the EPA forces Valdosta to clean up their crap. That's that's the best case scenario because you could do that, I would think, quick, much quicker than we could settle a lawsuit. And I appreciate that answer because that is a question I'm hearing a lot. Is one one of the state or one of Madison or Hamilton or the task force or whoever sue them? And, and, and some of the answers we give is an basically that that is an option. And, and second, and I, in the state of Florida, uh, it's true, at what level of capacity does a wastewater treatment facility have to meet at before you issue a moratorium against them for any other construction until they upgrade their system? So under our regulation, I can't issue something where there's a moratorium such that they couldn't build new homes. So I'm, I'm precluded from going on that. So we have our regulations set up such that they have to do a capacity analysis and wastewater treatment plants. And the way it's set up for us is that once you're within 15%, I believe the number of time I had, of meeting your normal maximum capacity, your permitted capacity, you have to be breaking ground on building an expansion to your plant to handle it. We have a tier when you're at 35% away, you have to submit plans to the state of Florida DEP. So we force the utilities to monitor what their capacities are, and by the time they actually get in that last 10% range, they should be bringing an expansion online. I'm unsure if Georgia does it that way, but I know since I've been in this role, that's been one of the things that we have heavily focused on because aging infrastructure, I understand, is a problem around the country, but if there's regulations, you know, here we say a lot, if there's regulations on the books and we're not using them, then we're wrong. So that's what we use for it. Well, they must not have that rule because that gentleman nine months ago said they had 1920s area era sewer lines, and they've been built a lot of houses since the 1920s, and not they got by. Well, I guess another question I would have is, um, what would constitute the federal government to? force a moratorium on the city of Valdosta for either their not have a proper oversight and supervision of the facility or maintenance of their facility or whatever. I mean, um, 
at what point, who would issue that and how would it be done and what would be the criteria for having that? <clears throat> Do you have the authority to do that? Can you deny? Can you put a bill to more on the federal level? Like I said, I, I, I don't. You, you're asking some pretty specific Clean Water Act questions. You know, we have to get some of our Clean Water Act experts to, to you know, get back to you on a specific answer. Of this. Yeah, we're, I know we're, we're bouncing around a lot. Well, and, and these are questions I've just been put on me to ask to find out. Let me ask so I'm passing it on yeah. if there is an answer. I don't, I don't want there to be any misunderstanding. Georgia was invited to this meeting just like everybody else. Is that right? Right? Okay. Right? Yeah, I'll tell you, yes, they were invited. Okay? <laughs> they chose not to be here. They chose today not to participate in this meeting by phone. Okay? That, that disturbs me. It does not give me a lot of confidence that we're going to have a willing partner in the state of Georgia, the state of Iowa, to help us address this process. Okay? So it falls on three of us at, at the state level to work with our with our people from DEP who I have tremendous respect for and, and, and confidence in. I'll, I'll just tell you, I'm up front with my life. They, they, they're mean sometimes when they need to be mean. Okay? <laughs> they don't say yes when I want to say yes. <laughs> All right? uh, so I have confidence in that. So let's fast forward to another meeting. Okay? If we set up another meeting like this, who do we need at the meeting that can answer the questions that we have today that can't be answered? And you don't, you don't have to tell me that now, but y'all hear the questions we have. Who do we need sitting around this table at the next meeting that can answer these questions? Well, we'll certainly, you know, take your comments and questions back and make sure that we have the right people in the room uh, to be able to answer that. But again, I, we, we need to know exactly what the questions are and we understand the ones that are coming out. But y'all, I'm glad we're here today to listen to them. Um, but you know, we'll we'll make sure that, that the right people are there to, to answer specific, you know, statutory related questions or enforcement related questions that they pertain to a certain you know act. Well, let let's go ahead and you know we're we're in session starting next next week. Okay. So no offense to anybody, we may have to meet in Tallahassee. Okay. Uh, unless we can talk. To Leaders of the House and the Senate, the council meeting. Or something, I doubt that. Uh, but we may have to meet in Tallahassee. Okay, so if we meet in Tallahassee next week, y'all don't get mad. Okay, it's just it's, uh, what's that? Make us a bus. What's that? Make us a bus. Get that off the table. Yeah, we'll uh, Okay, so well, I'm sorry if I can. Yeah. I just wanted. That would be a workshop. I just wanted to highlight a few As part of the, the task force yeah, over the last year, we've been working. One of the initiatives we took is we we wrote letters to to our federal Congress, state legislators in Florida and Georgia, to um, the regional director, I guess uh, Mary Walker from uh, EPA, Georgia's EDP. We sent like thirty some odd letters out asking for assistance and guidance on how to resolve these issues. And, and, and it, I'll just be blunt, it's a bit disturbing that we got no replies from anybody on these, le on, these on our ask and our concerns. I mean, at the, at the, in, the, in the state of Georgia um, or uh, federal level. I do know, and I, I, I want to say, I mean, from our state legislative folks, and, and, and Rubio, Mr. Rubio's office, and Scott, they all, they've been at the table, Lawson's office, they've been at the table, and they've been very supportive and, and here and, and trying to work with us. But it is disturbing at the, in what I feel like, at the levels and the agencies involved in our, in the national level, and we don't we don't get a thank you letter back about our concerns, and that's that's very, I'm just going to be that's very disturbing. I, I'd like to 
address that just because I worked with Scott mm -hmm. back in April and helped coordinate the meeting with Valdosta and actually worked with Scott to make sure that you all were happy with the way things were moving back in April. So, yeah. um, I've also worked with Wes and Senator Rubio's office, Senator uh, Thomas Kamal, constantly in communication. So we have been working, and I don't want that to go unsaid. The, the well, and that's what I said a minute ago from, from uh, Senator Scott's office and Rubio's and all of those Congress stuff is fine. I mean, we, we're getting that support. It was just at the, the, the levels where we would expect to get Answers or comments back, you know, we work, we're not, we're not getting. I, I, we I, didn't even get a letter saying thank you for the letter. We didn't even get, we sent a letter directly to Mary Walker and we didn't even get a thank you for your letter. Well, I'm not sure about the letter because I know it was on Scott Coons because I thought that because I was working with him. The last I heard from you was we weren't, you were going to send a letter, but it was a different Just for the tone. Well, I, 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 I don't, I don't, we, yeah. we don't. We're very careful and, and um, sure that we, you know, respond to letters like that. And I personally haven't seen one, and I look at, you know, just about every letter that comes from an elected official, and I haven't seen one. But I'd love to get a copy of it and, and be able to address that. All right. Um, you over here? You got the list there? Yes, sir. I, I